In this instructional video, we will show you how to carry out a free in air measurement using the Piranha together with the RTI Mover, CT Dose Profiler and the Ocean software. The Mover is used in situations where no CT table movement is possible or desirable. This measurement will show the true thickness of the beam at the centre of the CT and also present the geometric efficiency. For wide beams, over 40 millimeters, it is recommended to only measure free in air. It is important that you know how your CT works and what parameters you want to measure. It is also important that you are familiar with how the CT dose profiler works. The mover has four controls. A screw to attach the plastic tube used for supporting the CT dose profiler during free in air measurements. A release button to insert and release the wire inside the mover. A spring loaded pin to attach the protection tube. And a knob to manually move the wire. Note that the mover doesn't have any on off switch. It powers on automatically when you connect it to a USB port. Therefore it is important to disconnect the mover after measurements. Otherwise the batteries in the mover will get drained. Start by assembling the mover. Mount the mover onto the base plate. Attach the protection rod by pulling up the pin. Position the rod with the slit on top on the mover towards the pin. Attach the other plastic tube to the mover and secure it with the support screw at the top of the mover. Take the CT dose profiler Remove the plastic top and attach the probe extension rod. Now attach the wire into the rod. Press down the release button and insert the wire into the mover. Place the CT dose profiler detector and the mover at the end of the table and align the CT dose profiler into the ISO centre of the CT. We recommend that the mover pushes the probe compared to pulling it during the measurement. So using the manual adjustment to position the active sensor area on the CT dose profiler slightly in front of the X-ray field. Connect the CT dose profiler to the Piranha and turn it on. We recommend that you place the piranha on the opposite side of the gantry of the CT beam. Connect the mover to your laptop with a USB cable. If needed, use active USB extension. Set up your CT to be ready for the measurement. Since this is done differently on different CTs, we will not guide you through this setup. Start Ocean 2014 on your laptop or tablet. For this measurement, we will be using an existing template in Ocean. Open the Library tab and go to Real-Time Display Templates and Extract. Examples RTI, Applications, CT. Choose Geometric Efficiency CT Dose Profiler, Mover. A hint will appear. When ready, click OK. Ocean will now prepare for a free in air measurement with the CT dose profiler. Enter the following information from the CT console into Ocean. Set KV, collimation. This is the thickness of the total detector area used in the CT. Sometimes you have to calculate the thickness yourself tube rotation time. Enter a scan length long enough to fit the collimation with some margin. In this case we added 40 mm extra scan length compared to the collimation width. Go over to the mover tab and check speed and distance. For a standard free in air measurement use the highest speed available. Distance should be equal to scan length. 
The software now shows estimated time, how long time the scan will take. Make sure that the measuring time in your template covers this time with some margin. In this case we will change the value to 4 seconds. The free in air measurement will take less measuring time than a CTDI measurement in a phantom, as the dose profile is much thinner without a phantom. You get a better resolution in the waveform if you capture the dose profile with a shorter measuring time in ocean, compared to the exposure time in the CT. Start the measurement process on your CT. Wait for the delay that occurs in some CTs. Press start in the ocean software and the probe will move through the X-ray beam. The measurement process is now complete, presenting the geometric efficiency, full width at half maximum and CTDI 100 while showing you a true picture of the X-ray beam. The distance between the two dashed black lines in the graph is the collimation. Use the cursors in the waveform area to study the full CTDI. Save the data. To print a customised report, just go to Reporting. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at rtigroup.com.